Hello everybody, this is Yogesh. Welcome to the book reviews. Today's review is about this famous book called Start With The Why. Uh, it's been the next sensation, I think, uh, in, the, in the movement of self-development and leadership development. Uh, profoundly simple to understand, uh, very easily communicated. The concept is related to psychology and biology so well. A uh, few things that I definitely would want your attention when you read this book is, is a chapter called This is not an opinion, this is biology. It talks about how biologically as human beings we are and what are our basic needs and irrespective of how big as an organization we are. We are a club of people, you know, people who have come together trying to create some profits at the marketplace. So this is definitely something in a new age leadership very crucial because world is so moving fast if this kind of a book will help you to understand that how do I connect people with heart and soul how do I connect my employees and my subordinates with more inspiring way so that's that's why I would definitely recommend this book one of the things he talks about in this book also is the law of innovation or diffusion now this book ideally was was the, the, diffu the you know the diffusion of innovation uh, by Rogers was was established in 1962 uh, but the author here, Simon, has used it in a, such a beautiful way in letting you know how your products and, 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 and services that you're trying to provide to a lot of your consumers, how should you actually look at that? Uh, he talks about the entire law as 2.5% as innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority and laggards. So that complete thesis of diffusion of innovation has been explained well and related well to human beings and that's that's something that uh, is unique in the book uh, it also talks about the biggest challenge of success which which he talks about every time there is a matrix of dollar versus why it has to be done and the matrix of people so that's something which is very unique that he's uh, showing well the book is connected back to a lot of historical data uh, of how leaders have been able to do it. So whether it's Dr. King, uh, Martin Luther King, or whether it's about Gandhi, whether it is about uh, 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 the, the, the Apple as a company. So he's related with a lot of examples and data that is showing that these companies that have been created are, are, are being run by a stronger why, a stronger purpose. A good book to understand and read, to have it in your shelf so that you are able to pick up something that can be implemented immediately at your workplace, at your life. At Book Reviews, this is something that you have to have a must have in your library uh, is what we can recommend. Thank you very much. Happy learning. Happy working.